Hello, world, and welcome back to the world of horror. This will be the second episode that I'll be doing. And so we're going to go ahead and try out a story here. And what we found out from our last playthrough is it's kind of like an episodic, um, detective, character-based, uh, I want to say like almost like a visual novel, but it's also like incorporates like point and click adventure type mechanics as well. So that's how this game is going to go. <laughs> and uh, it's got like a neat combat system and all that stuff and is actually really interesting. And so we did the spine chilling story of school scissors last time. And just the description here, that was just a tiny section of what a standard playthrough would be. So I'm actually really excited to get through just general randomized custom play. But at the same time, I'm gonna milk this game and I'm, we're, gonna, we're gonna figure out everything we can. So I think we'll do extracurricular activity next. <laughs> I like that title too, extracurricular activity. Um, we're gonna do that next. So that way we get prepped for the standard playthrough and we don't have to like go too in depth with anything. Based on the description, you, you can read. I don't need to walk you through it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll stick to normal. I Actually, we'll do hard, just to see what it's like, just to dip our toes into the water while we're in the tutorial. Might as well, because I, I like to have a strategic mind and those fights, I can see them being really, really tight. Like optimizing your time, should you go for a spiritual, combat or should you go physical yeah i can see it all playing out so i'm actually really hyped here so all right we'll do extra quick in activity let's go oh it's the same place city of shiokawa japan 1980 something something strange is happening in our town yeah we're gonna skip through this we already know the deal road people cults um eldritch gods awakening because of technology uh, unknown and new threats, all that stuff. We already learned it. And if you read up on your Lovecraft, you probably can guess what's gonna happen. That's, that's a bit new. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrive. Actually, that is the same. Never mind. Skip it. Ugh. The eternal web? That sounds rad. Alright. <laughs> I'll try my best to pronounce this. Kithok Atarasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Sure, yeah. No, that's like, I, I really like that. It's like, it's like, uh, forgetting the name of the game. It reminds me of like certain like tabletop games. Like you, you like draw like a, just a scenario card and then that's what you're playing off of for the whole round. So like that, that that's kind of neat. Except this is just like an enemy card. <laughs> All right, so old gods, oh, is it is a scenario? Never mind. old gods rule. You can't escape from combat encounters. <gasps> that's so evil. That makes sense though, eternal web, I get it. All right, backstory, world of horror. Character exclusive perk cards only. I don't know what that means. So that, that's kind of cool though, I like that. I'm so ready for a standard playthrough, you don't even know. Alright, we're, we're playing this beautiful woman now. First time playing? Click here. Sure. <laughs> Alright, so this is a girl mascot, I'll be doing it with girl's voice. <laughs> Welcome, and thank you for trying World of Horror! Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, the visual overload may be a little disorienting in the beginning. In this short tutorial, I'll do my best to explain various elements and prepare you to fight the horrible old gods. Oh, I'm Powell, creator of the game. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Continue. Thanks, Powell. That's the main game screen. Here you will interact with your surroundings, solve mysteries, and fight enemies. All performed actions will be added to the log here. That's the user interface part of the screen. Here you'll manage your inventory, cast spells, and access the game options. Continue, please. That's you. World of Horror has RPG elements, and your attributes are described by six basic stats. Move your mouse over them to learn more. 
Enhance your stamina. That represents your physical health. Once it reaches zero, your character dies. That's your reason. It represents your stability and will to confront the horrors. Once it reaches zero, your character collapses and the game ends. That's strength. That's dexterity. That's perception. That's knowledge. That would be charisma. And that's funs. <laughs> it's not finding things like you guessed, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Powell. You don't need to be mean. That's your inventory. You can keep up to four items. Click here to inspect, use, or equip anything you pick up. There are three equipment slots. Equipped items do not count towards the four items limit. A. Weapon used in combat. B and C. Trinkets and armor. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks, pal. As you progress with your playthrough, more helpful tips will appear. Would you like to turn the combat tutorial on? It will start during your first enemy encounter. No, I think I got a good handle on combat. Actually, if the tutorial is just like this, that wouldn't be that bad. I wouldn't. I might learn something. Sure. All right. Oh, so this is a standard playthrough. I get a lot of free reign here. Okay. Allies and perks. Ooh, bullets, cig cigarettes. <gasps> you smoke. Bad young lady. Bad. It's a terrible habit. You need to break it. Town status. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. As Doom progresses, Old God's influence will slowly corrupt and change this calm seaside town. Fair enough. Cthulhu tends to do that. And there's actual time passing. Okay. Level up. So I have to manually level up? Wait, his name changed. Ajurasu Nasa, the Spider God. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So there's a perk, status, spells. I, I can't wait to see some of, the, some of the statuses. Let's go to the lighthouse initially. We'll do our initial research. The ominous lighthouse has been closed for longer than you can remember. Don't care, let's go out and enter. Ah, I need five keys to get to the lighthouse. All right, fine. One or more, yeah, no, all right, back. You win this time, padlocks. We'll go home then, because it's the only place we can go. Empty mailbox. Oh. Yeah, meow. Ah. Uh. What's in there? Ah. Uh. Someone, someone mailed a cat. <laughs> that's that's horrible. Okay, moving on. Ooh, is that supposed to be me? Man, I am looking good. I can't quite tell my age. I'd say I'm like twenties. It's really hard to tell. MS Paint kind of has that effect. <laughs> I, I don't see any wrinkles, so like I'm just I'm just a young woman. We'll say I'm a young woman. All right, back in your home, you think of your next move. You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspapers, clippings, and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm not currently investigating anything, so that makes sense, I guess. I like that that bit though. Next room should point you in the right direction. That's kind of funny. So does that mean the next place I go, it's gonna determine what happens here? Play one, at least one mystery to save progress. Choose it. Exit your storage. Do I have anything? Nope. Fair enough. Back. Take it. Someone is. Wait, what? Uh. Oh! My neighbor! <laughs> hey, there's a smiley face! Two smiley faces! Yay! Okay, there's someone in the shadows over there, the first instance, and then the other two instances, the, the neighbor was staring. Why are people staring at me? Creepers? They're just staring at, like, a, a door. Change clothes? Oh yeah, alright, we gotta look fashionable before we before we do anything. Captain, teacher's pet. Oh, that, that reminds me of um, Yandere Simulator. Yeah, um, 
the main character. That's that's what that reminds me of. Haircut and everything. All right. Captain. Gym clothes. Nope. Wait, what? What does that mean? I. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go with that just because it, it it's pretty casual. That's a nice movie poster. Is it? What is she holding? Nunchucks? All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nothing else to see here. Looking good. Damn right. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Watch TV. Local police are helpless as more and more victims with their oh whoa with their throats slashed turn up in the downtown area. That. I'm tempting fate. Alright, moving on. Alright, take a bath. The shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. Oh. Extra stamina regain, small XP boost. Interesting. We'll take the experience for now. So that, that took time, I assume. So let, let, let's get on with, with the, with the Scooby-Doo mystery here. Inexplicable and morbid events are plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Hmm, okay, okay. Good point, good point. <laughs> Distracted. Sorry. Let's get back to it. So, oh, three ending. Oh, okay. oh. So what we did before was was just one case. It's like there are multiple endings that are in there. But why does it say endings discovered? Does that imply that like you can redo a case, or does that just mean for subsequent playthroughs? Okay. Okay, I like the alliter alliteration. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. I'll take it. I want to do that one. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. I was in my home before, but I went out to... Smoke. <laughs> yeah, I smoked a whole pack on my way back from the grocery store. Did you know you turn around? It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. Investigate this. Are you kidding? How is that a mystery? That's just gossip. That's like go to church and be like, oh, did you hear? Donna went to that new hair cutter this Sunday. She's gonna look so good. <laughs> Investigate this mystery. No, no, that's <laughs> that, that shouldn't be how this works, but I'll take it because you're my friend now. Oh, is that what she looks like? Oh, hey. Hey, Donna, how you doing, girl? Alright, okay, you're actually really cool. I like you. That, that, that's a nice perk to have. I will take it. I could talk to you, that's cool. Is it me or not? Okay, that's just general stuff. Let go, I think that's funny. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep her for now. Investigate this mystery. Music's getting faster. Alright. To advance this mystery, investigate the circled location. As you progress, the location and the rules may change. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. Wait, it says circle location. This is what's circled. Travel to apartments.
Oh, we'll visit the neighbor. Yeah, sure. Dang, I forgot to read the, the thing up top. You're not gonna- oh. Yeah, Connor's already with me. Get out of here. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He'll surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please? Well, I mean, you're coming with me, so... Whatever. Investigative. Oh, investigated. Okay. We'll, we'll look around just because. Let's see what events are around. You really could use the drink. Uh, we have four or five. Yeah, let's keep our funding for now. <laughs> Dexterity check. Oh, to like catch the can or something? I don't know what that's for. Thanks for the XP anyway. How am I doing on XP? I need to get to 100 in order to level up. That'll be a while. What if I want to investigate the apartments again, huh? You think about it then? Why is it so what? Mm. Doom converts to spells. Let's see if we can recruit an extra ally just cause. Oh, oh, it says right here. This is like the quest progression based on Kana's dialogue. Okay, dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? He must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Yeah, sure. Ah, there's something down there. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Oof. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How could she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Oh, she is already infected. All right. <laughs> I kind of want to go to the schoolyard real quick. What does it mean, cost of doom to enter? Oh, it means, okay, yeah, that's what it means, I guess. Uh, how much time do I get to spend here? Oh, I forced to help you. Does it mean I get a killer? Zero, zero, zero didn't do, oh, that's creepy. Oh. That's cost XP, dang it. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just kind of playing around with the functions. Kairi. Kiharu. Oh, he believes me. I got student B. Oh, that's cool. So I get plus one. This. Okay, awesome. So you gotta scare them and then. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I was reading a horror manga about spirals. Very subtle. Alright. Wait. I don't, I don't want to. Let's leave. We got the jar. Gotta go back to the apartment. Why does it keep flickering? <laughs> me and me, Kana and Student B. We just have like one random dude here. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. Yeah, sure. Before you go- oh, wow, he's peeking right in. The door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. I wonder what would have happened if I called the cops. Oh, we got the experience. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Is this evil even alive? Investigate apartments, da 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 da. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. 
They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? Good question. I would lose reason over that too, but we'll take the funds. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. That's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Probably not. I, in my opinion, like, if, if they're hiding something, then like, you know, it's probably sensitive information and it's gonna creep you out. Alright, let's get apartments. Here we go. Wait, no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decided to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Uh! Oh! <laughs> Yeesh! When that guy fell down the stairs, he wasn't as lucky as I was. Holy crap! <laughs> During each turn, you'll be- yeah, yeah, once you fill the blah blah blah, yeah, we got that. Alright, so I don't have any weapons, so we'll just have to beat the crap out of them. Good news is we can attack four times with kicks. I have, have a pretty good chance of hitting, so we'll do E. So, yeah. If hit them every time, then that'll be good. Alright, friends, let's kick the crap out of these corpse. I missed one. Ah, he grabbed me! Oh, grabbed as in that it's, it's type of attack. Okay, got it. Da, 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 da. No, that won't work. Hmm. If succeeded, faster combat action for the duration of this kind. If failed, lose a random ally. Oh no. That's terrible. Clear, we'll grab something. Any weapon that we can use. And we'll boost our last hit here. Awesome. So I got a branch. Alright, strength bit, eh, and we're, we're okay in strength, yeah. Pass to equip. Awesome. So we got our branch. Now this dude's dead. Kind of. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, I'll take the chance. Just need to hit him twice. Let's go. <gasps> yes! Got it! <laughs> Thank you very much. 8 XP for that. Mmm, tasty. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this damned jar in the trash. Where's the burn notes? Oh, I can't read those at all. Wow. Oh, there we go. Legend from the Prefecture Eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpse into a lake full of eels. <laughs> okay. What does that have to do with weird looking eels? Oh, you are investigating face in the window. You can't shake the feeling. Date. <laughs> you can't shake the feeling. Date. Those small dark buildings hide some terrible secrets. Boop, boop. I booped your nose. Got it again! Alright, resolve this event. 
Thinking about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? Oh, she's gonna get dumped in the lake. I have a feeling. Is she not in my allies anymore? Yeah, she's gone. Alright, go to the school. To the schoolyard! As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Anatomy class, Burke. Um, boop. Need to come closer. Oh, against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Oof. Yikes. That's some eldritch stuff there. Alright. Kana has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment for yourself. There's blood. Okay. I'll just get the neighbor's apartment. Neighbor's kitchen. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Check the bedroom, check the bathroom. I have a feeling. A swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside putrid, murky water. Both his eyes are missing with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Dang it! I got minus in both? That is unfortunate. Alright, bedroom it is. Boop. You finally find Kana. I, I found the neighbor, but when his eye bursted, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now, too. Oh, crap. We must puncture her eye now. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the hospital. Sorry, Kana, like, you're, you're cool? Actually... What would puncturing her eye do? I, like, I don't know medicine. So, like, I'm pretty sure that's not the way you're supposed to go about it. Alright, this is a dilemma. So we're gonna go ahead and call it there for episode two. Thank you back, or thank you again for coming back a second day. World of Horror, oh man, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it because it's something that I can be laid back, experience horror, and just have a good time. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for coming back. Try coming back again tomorrow, or whatever the schedule I put out entails, and I cannot wait to play more of this game with you. Have a good one. Uh, yeah. Here we go!